Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Axial Black projector headlights with the LED DRL for the 15 to 17 F-150 with halogen headlights. If you're the owner of an F-150 with factory halogen headlights, you might be looking to ditch the factory headlights in order to upgrade them to a more modern look. Now this modern look here is incorporating a new LED light bar that's running the entire perimeter of your headlight in a very bright bluish white hue, which I think looks super awesome. This is completely changing that front end design, making it look like one of the newest generation F-150s by also swapping out the interior design in addition to that light bar. Inside, you're getting a completely blacked out housing, projector style upper and lower bulbs. You're getting a low beam H9 and a high beam H11 bulb, so they're super bright and very attractive. This kit comes with passenger and driver's side, of course, for right around 500 bucks, which I think makes it a pretty worthwhile investment to change up the front end look of your F-150 and make it look up to date. The factory lights are pretty traditional and I think a little outdated, so it's a really good upgrade here. The install, I'm gonna give a very simple one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, no splicing, no cutting, no modification, Modifications. I'm going to take you through every step of the process, starting with the uninstall. It's going to take you about an hour start to finish. Let's get to it. Tools used in the install include an impact gun, extension, quarter inch ratchet, panel removal tool, eight and 10 millimeter deep sockets. Now in order to get our headlights out of the way, we have to remove this trim panel below the headlight, hugging the fender and the wheel well liner. So grab a seven millimeter socket and a ratchet and remove these two screws inside the wheel well. Now the top side of that trim panel under the hood, so pop your hood, you're gonna remove this plastic push pin clip or that plastic rivet. I'm gonna use a panel removal tool for this, which I find to be a little easier. You can also use a small flathead screwdriver. Just wanna get up underneath that top portion and pull it up. Just like that. You can go underneath of it, pull it up in one piece. All right, from here we can pull back on this plastic panel on both sides. So grab your hand in the wheel well liner and you're just gonna pull back just like that and set it aside. All right, so now we have to remove the black plastic trim underneath of that pre-painted one on the exterior. So we have five 10 millimeter bolts, two on the side, three on the front. I'm gonna use an extension and a 10 millimeter socket. All right, finally in the wheel well again, there's just one push pin clip. We're just gonna pop that guy out with our panel tool. All right, from here what we're gonna do is just pull back on this black plastic trim, disconnect it and set it aside, which exposes the bottom of our headlight and allows us to pull it out. All right, so now to remove our headlight, we have two 10 millimeter bolts at the top, one on the inside, which is pretty deep in, you'll definitely need an extension to get to. All right, now to get to that last one here, you're gonna go to the far bottom right corner of your taillight, go straight in, and you'll meet another black 10 millimeter bolt. All right, from here it's real simple. Pull straight back to remove your headlight. Now what you wanna do is pinch and disconnect the factory harness. There's one up top, two of these guys on the back end. Perfect, now you can set this aside. All right, so we got our factory light off of our 2016 F-150 behind me. I wanna take a look at that, comparing it to your new Axial LED light with the DRL light bar. Now, as you can see, they are almost a complete redesign with the exception of the same shape and the same quality construction of the housing. Now, that housing I wanna talk about first, again, being the same exact quality, you are getting more of a blacked out look, especially when it comes to the interior of the housing but you do get a clear lens, which gives you the impression of a smoked headlight without hindering any of that lighting output. Inside of that housing, you're going to see a really completely redesigned, uh, modernized look and design here. The upper and lower portions are your high and low beams. Your low beam is using a new H9 bulb. Your high beam is gonna use a new H11 bulb. Now those are surrounded by this LED DRL or a daytime running light. Now that DRL is already wired in, so you're not gonna have to worry about doing any splicing, 
and those will come on with your lights to give you a nice accent light that I think looks extremely modern and is honestly one of my favorite aspects of this headlight. I'm a huge fan of DRLs. This one wrapping around the entire portion of the border of the headlight something I'm a really big fan of. You're gonna be reusing your factory turn signal bulb and your corner light bulb. So we'll just pop those out of the factory socket on the stock headlight and transfer them over. Now that's gonna be pretty simple to do. Other than that, it's gonna plug right into your factory harness on the 2016. So really at the end of the day, guys, you can see complete redesign. You're going from a lot of chrome, traditional lighting, not something I would really expect on a newer generation truck. So this is a worthwhile investment if you're looking for that complete change up in modern technology. So what we're gonna do first is just pop out those factory bulbs, transfer them over, and then we'll get started. Guys, what I'm gonna do before we flip them over is I'm gonna take the plastic uh, headlight protector that's given in the kit here uh, right out of the box and just lay it back on our new headlights just to protect them while we have them face down and while we're installing. Of course, you wanna remove this before uh, you actually you know, hit the road. That's obvious, goes without saying. So we're just gonna tuck that in and just protect our lenses. So now what we can do is flip this guy over. You're gonna remove this black connector here, this socket, and you're gonna remove the factory light on the corner. So it's really just twisting and pulling straight back. Same thing over here. Twist, pull straight back. Now we can set this aside. On your new housing, you'll see the stickers that say remove. You wanna pop those guys off. They're just protecting the bulb sockets for shipment. From here, what we're gonna do is take our corner light, unwrap our harness in the kit, and you're gonna plug this guy in to the bulb socket. So what you're gonna have to do is pinch and remove the factory bulb. Take your new connector, stick it right in that socket. There you go. From there, you can tuck the excess wiring in and twist it into place. All right, so now we're gonna remove the other sticker. This one's a little more difficult. It's really flush in there, so you might have to poke a hole in it just to rip this guy out. All right, from here, take your bulb socket you're gonna twist the factory one back in. All right guys, now before we install our headlight, I wanna show you a quick thing. This corner light that we installed on the table, twist that guy out and take a look at the wiring position. Now you can see that wiring that we plugged into the factory socket. There's a black wire and a white wire. Black is your ground, white is your power. Now on the factory harness, grab the connector that's gonna pop right into it, just like that. That's as easy as you install it, it's plug and play. What you wanna take note of is the side of the wiring. Now on the factory harness, there's a black wire and a yellow and brown one. The yellow and brown is your power, black is your ground. You wanna make sure the wiring is on the same side. You want the black with the black. And as you can see, ours is reversed. We have black on the right and black on the left here. So what we wanna do is unplug this guy and flip her around. We want them on the same side. Just like that. So now the blacks match up, the powers match up. And you can tuck it back into the socket. Perfect. Now on the other ones, it's just plug and play. You don't have to worry about the sides. They're already set in place. So just grab it, plug them in, black to black, and then the brown connector to the other factory bulb. All right, now we can install our headlight. All right, right about now is a good time to pull off that plastic, making sure it's not in the way when you're installing this. Pop it right in place, grab your factory bolts, put them in, and we can do everything in the reverse order. All right, so now we can take that black trim, set it into place on the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is just take my extension and socket and just thread these guys on by hand, making sure all of the holes are lined up. Now you can go back and tighten them down. All right, now you can put your blue trim back in place. All right, last couple of steps, we're gonna put the push pin back in up here. Push that in, drop it down. All right, so these we can thread in by hand, just make sure they catch top and bottom.
All right, guys, once this is done, repeat for the other side. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up my review and install for the Axial Black projector headlights with the LED DRL for the 15 to 17 F-150 with factory halogens. If you want to upgrade your headlights, you can do so right here at americantrucks.com.